I'm going to start off by priming my face with Maybelline's Baby Skin. And then put that all over my face. I'm going to use uh, Ma Milani's Prime Shield for my nose. I feel the baby skin is a little bit too oily for my nose area, so that's why I use this one instead. Okay, I'm going to let that dry for like about 3-5 to five minutes. That way it soaks into my skin and I don't have to worry about it slipping off. For foundation, I'm going to be using Revlon's Color Stay. And Maybelline's Fit Me Dewy and Smooth and Milani's Conceal and Perfect. I'm going to mix all these three foundations. I feel like mixing these three together give a gluey finish to the skin and it stays on all day. And I'm just using a damp beauty blender to bounce that in my skin. There's a wild baby in the back. I don't know where he came from. It's kidding. <laughs> you copy me? Okay. It's black something? Mm hmm. Green, black, uh, orange makeup. Green, black, orange makeup? This is all for makeup. This is shoes. And this makeup for your shaggy. This. Bob, what are you doing? That's showing the makeup. Wet n Wild's Meg Glow Contouring Palette, and this is in Dulce de Leche. Yeah. And I'm gonna just take some of this bronze color, <laughs> baby. And I'm gonna use that to. Um, I'm gonna use NYX Eyebrow Gel for my eyebrows. I'm going to line out my eyebrows with uh, Maybelline's Master Conceal and just a flat brush. I my eyes with Hard Candy's Eye Primer. I'm going to contour my face with um, Elf's Contouring Kit and I'm going to use this color right here. Oh no, sorry. The darkest shade first with a contouring brush. I'll just drag it up a little bit and then right here on the temples of my forehead. A little bit on my jawline. The second color mixed with the first color I used just to help blend that out. And like circular motions on the top and up here and right here I just flick it up. And I'm going to use the uh, Wet n Wild's contouring kit too and just get some of that brown color that I used earlier for my eyebrows and just to help warm up my face some more. For the first eyeshadow, I'm going to use the Morphe palette. This is a 35W. Um, this first shade mixed with the second shade
taupe shade from the palette and I'm going to put that right in the crease. Fusion collection. It's like duo eyeshadow. Get some of that green and put that right under the other eyeshadow I just put down. And I'm just going to pull that and drag it a little bit forward to the front of my eye. Almost like a cut crease, but not as defined. For this eyeshadow and this part of my eye, I'm just kind of like stroking it on there. I'm not really doing too many circular motions. That way I can get a lot of the pigment on the eye instead of blending it too much in where you lose the color of the eyeshadow and for the edges of the green color I'm just going to go a little bit quicker to help blend it into the eyeshadow that was there that's above it I like pretty dramatic makeup not too much of a natural look kind of girl so that's why I like to drag it out pretty far and I'll just clean it up if it looks a little messy with any concealer later on. I'm just going to get some of this uh, copper shade from that same duo and put that on the outer corner of my eye. Mid middle outer corner of my eye. However you want to say that. And I'm going to use a sponge applicator for that. And just grab some of that on there and just put that right here these are pretty affordable eyeshadows and the pigmentation on them is pretty good so I do recommend these if you can find them Probably like on Amazon or eBay or something like that. That is just crazy. I'm just going to get some um, NYX Dewy Setting Spray and spray the sponge just a little bit and kind of flick whatever else off. That didn't sound right. <laughs> Shake whatever else off and then just get some more of that color and put it right on top of that. And it will help bring that eyeshadow just a little bit more. Not like it needs much help, but if you want extra shine or glow, why not? That is crazy! I need to look for more of these eyeshadows because that is too good. Alright, we'll put some of. Sorry if you hear the baby in the background. It's playing. Wet and Wild's glitter. Little pop here. Grass Latin, I believe. Okay, and I'm just going to use my finger and grab a little bit of that. Or a lot of it. And it's like a glittery, sticky eyeshadow. I'm going to put that right here. On the front part of my eye. I'm going to take this uh, Milani eyeshadow. And this is in the color Bella Chiffon. Something like that. Number 28. Mine's broken, so I'm just going to be careful with that. Um, use a fluffy applicator and mix that color with this True Naked and this is Golden number 810. And I'm going to mix it with the second shade from that palette. Put that right where I put the gold eyeshadow.
back in with that uh, copper shade and bring it back a little bit forward where it was because the other shade got on top of it and just drop these three eyeshadows they're just beautiful it just gives that faded into another color look <laughs> that's even a thing but you know what I mean right it just fades into each other and that looks really blended and don't throw your applicators away all you know sometimes yeah if they're not that good but with eyeshadows like this I feel like they help so much with the pigmentation rather than a brush because the brush can take a lot of that away and fly around everywhere with an applicator you can actually push it on and it stays there so don't give up on an eyeshadow till you tried it with a brush and an applicator this is an eyeshadow from uh, Victoria's Secret I think it is Anzinger is the name of this eyeshadow and I am just going to get that same applicator flip it over well flip it to the clean side and on the outer corner of my eye and I'm just gonna flick that out almost like a wing but I don't want to lose too much of that green color blend that edge of the brown eyeshadow I'm just gonna take some more of the green and blend from the Morphe palette and put that right above and I'm fine with the glitter like traveling up here I just think it looks like blown out and sparkly and I'm just gonna get some more for the outer corners of my eye a lot of times you have to go back and forth back and forth between your eyeshadows just to make sure they're all getting along you get a fluffy brush and wipe anything that fell onto your face I very much dislike this applicator from Wet n Wild. Like, look at that. It's like, no. So, I'm just going to use the applicator from the L'Oreal one and grab some of that goodness and put that on my eye. Because I really do like the eyeliner itself, just like the applicator. No, no, no. I finished my eyeliner and I put on some eyelashes and they're the Wispy by Ardell and I'm just gonna put some mascara on and this is from uh, L'Oreal it's uh, telescopic and I curled my eyelashes together and I put eyeliner on top of the lash band so it hides it so it's not too obvious I'm going to use some more of that Milani eyeshadow and an applicator and just put that right on, on my lid. I'm going to conceal my under eye. And this is a Maybelline Age Rewind. And just highlight a little bit with this I'm gonna get some of this dark brown with an angled brush from the 810s palette and flick it out a bit little little baby brush and I'm going to spray it with some of that NYX dewy setting spray 
golden shade. more of that uh, Milani eyeshadow, the white one, the 28 Bella, and put that right in between. I'm going to get my angled brush and get some more of that bronzer. I feel like it got lost with the concealer bit, so... Make sure any lines are gone. And I keep forgetting. Uh, I should have set my under eye with some powder. I'm going to use this light shade from the Dose de Leche. Wet and Wild, Next Glow, Long Old Name, some more of that. I'm just going to get this fluffy brush and brush that downwards. I'm going to get that same angled brush and the green color. And put that right here. And spray it first. I'm just gonna wipe that on a makeup remover wipey eyeshadow, the white one. I put some telescopic on my lower lash line. This color from the same wet and wild palette. Oh my gosh, that is that is too much fallout. What? Oh my gosh. Dug it in too much, I guess. Okay. For blush, I'm gonna use this one. I'm just gonna take a tiny bit because it's Super like red and orange. Take that a little bit on the cheek. Blush is probably the easiest thing you can mess up because it depends on that a blush too, but I feel like you can easily put on way too much blush on your lip. Whoa. I'm gonna get some of this brown shade from the e.l.f. palette and on a fluffy brush and contour my nose a little bit. For what you all been waiting for. Just kidding. Um, I'm gonna highlight next with uh, Milani's Fantastic and my fan brush. Hmm. I don't know what that was. Oh. Eyeshadow. Okay, and I'm gonna spray. Flick off the extra. Extra. Get some. Sorry. Not too high, a little bit lower because this one is darker, so. I don't want to bring this dark color up high by my eyes, so a little bit low, not too forward either because if you have large pores up here like I do, they will stand out and say hello to the world. And I'm not sure you want that. Broken light in the back, let's not look at that. I'm going to get some of the shimmer shade from the e.l.f. palette, contour palette, put that right up high. Take this one step further. I'm going to get some NYX, uh, no not NYX, NYC Golden Champagne 880 
eyeshadow stick. Boop, boop, boop. Put one, two, three lines. And with my finger, just stab that in. And OMG, what is this happening on my face? Hmm? Pretty cool, right? Pretty cool. If you don't like glow, you don't have to do any of this. But if you do, try this. Hmm. And oh my gosh, it's like a dollar and two dollars. You don't need to be spending like a hundred bucks on a, on a highlighter. Unless you have the dough, then you want to, right? Go ahead, but if you don't, you don't need to, man. Save that money for like a burger or something. I don't know. If you're vegan, a salad. Little tiny bit, whatever's on my finger, I'm just gonna put that right there. Tiny bit on my nose, tiny, 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 tiny. Again, if you have large pores, it will make it stick out. So, so I don't like to do it too much. You see, you see that? Oh my gosh! Like what? I don't like that, but I I don't mind highlight on my nose, so. You just gotta deal. Just deal with it. No, I like to get my beauty blender that if it has any more foundation on it, go right over. To help tone it down a bit. A bit. <laughs> what am I missing? Oh, lips. I'm going to um, line out my lips with Remold's lip liner. I don't know the name of this. But it is like a taupe brown shade. Well, taupe is a brown shade, but you know what I mean. It's not straight up brown, it's like a taupe brown shade. And I'm gonna use Milani's lipstick. And this is in Matte Innocence. And you can leave it like this if you like. Or if you want to go one more extra, you can, if I can find it, add some lip gloss. And this is uh, Victoria's Secret's lip lacquer. In the shade French Kiss. Do, 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 do. Why does it smell like? I don't know. Funkiness. And this is all a little bit finished together. I hope you like it and if you do please like and subscribe I think this is my sixth video so I'm very new to this so please excuse all this craziness that is me thank you for watching bye I almost forgot wet and wilds eyeliner in the color where are you turquoise Eat some of these and put it in my inner eye. Oh, waterline. What does that even mean, inner eye? And that was almost useless because you could barely, barely see it. You know what? A trick. 
of course. You want to make sure it's sharpened so you don't burn yourself. You're going to be playing with fire. Of course, be careful. And if you're young, please ask your mom and dad first. And just get a lighter and kind of put it on the color part of the pencil, not the pencil itself. Don't even probably put it on it, just put it close to it so enough to heat it up and it will melt it. You'll know if you can see this. It will melt it a little bit and it will help glide onto your eye a little bit. So it cools down, don't burn yourself. Check it on your finger first. And OM goodness. Look how much better that is. Can you see that? Oh, ho, 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 man. That's some good stuff. You just made a dollar eyeliner look like a $20 eyeliner. Crazy. I should have warned you. Turn away if you don't like eyeballs. Because this is up close and personal. See? Don't even touch it. Just let it melt a little bit. Oh yeah, check it first. Oh, is that hot? No, it's okay. Now I'm done.